All right, so sex link traits look a little different than the traits that we've done in the previous chapter. Mendel's traits were what we would call autosomal traits, meaning they were carried on one of the regular chromosomes. And we have two copies of every single one of those chromosomes. So there was no effect or no different effect if you were a male versus a female. Um, big B, little B, big B, big B, little B, little B, all of those genotypes, it could be a male or a female. Sex link traits are a little different. These are traits that are specifically carried on the X. Why the X? Because the Y chromosome has almost no information on it other than making you making a male, male. So when they say sex link traits, you can assume they mean X linked or on the X chromosome. The thing is with a sex link trait, females have two X's. So a female would look like this, XX, and a male that they're going to be crossed with would be XY. And then we note the trait as a superscript on the X chromosome. So for example, um, a female could be X big B, X little B for a trait, but a male could either be X big B or X little B. He couldn't be heterozygous. You can't have a male that's heterozygous because a male only has one X. All right. So um, we gave a couple of examples, and if you go back to the other recording, you'll see an example, I think, with hemophilia. Another example of a sex link trait in humans, besides hemophilia, is colorblindness. These are both recessive traits. Um, but this is a kind of an interesting one. This is uh, tortoise shell cats, or also calico cats come about the same way. So this gene is actually codominant. X big E codes for black fur. X little E codes for yellow fur. And if a cat is X big E, X little E, then the cat will be tortoise shell, meaning that they'll have patches of black and yellow. So if you think of tortoise shell cats or calico cats, all right, so these cats, tortoise shell and calico, they're always gonna be female because in order to be tortoise shell or calico, you have to be X big E, X little E. You have to have a copy of the gene that codes for black fur and a copy of a gene that codes for yellow fur. But remember, males are X, Y. So they can either be X big E, black, or they could be X little E, yellow, but either way, they can't be tortoise shell or calico because they can't have two X's. Males only have one. All right, so this is the, uh, this is a, these are a couple of sample crosses with using this, this um, scheme here. So actually I'm using X big E for black, X little E for yellow. It doesn't really matter since they're co-dominant. So the first cross we're doing is a tortoise shell female with a black male. My recommendation on these crosses is to immediately do this, right? XX times XY. Because that way you won't forget that you're only going to be putting letters on your X's and not on your Y's. So what would be the genotype for the tortoise shell female? So she would be X big E, X little E. And then the male that's black? He's going to be X big E Y. So this would be our, our cross. So now uh, we do this just like the planet squares you've seen before. So we're going to do X big E, X little E, X big E Y. These, these will never have more than four boxes, so you don't have to worry about these ginormous planet squares in this, in this chapter. So we get X big E, X big E, X big E, X little E, X big E Y x little ey it's important in these that we pay attention to the sex of the offspring so this offspring here is female what color is she okay so you can write it this way you have one fourth black female how about the other female so we have one fourth tortoise shell female all right our first male He's what color? One fourth black male. And our last one is yellow, right? So one fourth yellow male. It is important for these that you note the sex of the offspring. You can't just say one fourth tortoise shell. That would not be right. And here's the other thing about these problems. You have to pay very close attention to what they ask you. For example, let's say this was a multiple choice question. They could ask you two different ways. They could say, um, what fraction of the females are black? What would be your answer if they ask you, what fraction of the females are black? 
The answer would be one half, not one fourth, because one fourth of the offspring are black females. But if they say what fraction of the females, you only want to look at the females and not the males. Um, they could say, on the other hand, they could say, what are the chances of a black female offspring from this cross? Now the answer would be one fourth, because they're asking out of all the offspring, what are the chances it's a black female? So it's very, very important on these crosses that you pay attention to the way they phrase the question. Do they ask you about all the offspring or do they just ask you about the males or the females? So I'm going to pause for a sec. Try these two crosses. Number two, cross a black female and a yellow male. And then number three, two tortoise shell cats. Take five minutes and then we're going to regroup. All right, so let's look at number two. So we've got a black female, a yellow male. So we're going to use, here's the thing, since this is co-dominance, you know that if the female's black, she has to be X big E, X big E. She can't be heterozygous because if she was heterozygous, she would be tortoise shell and not black. And then the male is X little E Y. So here's my, actually I'll just do it under here. Here's my Punnett square. So there's my X big E. Actually, you know what? I'm not going to do that. Um, because since she's homozygous, you can shorten this up and just do two boxes. You can do four like this, x little ey, but just for the record, you could also do this, x little ey, x big e, like this. Because since she's homozygous, just like in the previous chapter, you don't have to write it twice. So if you cut it to two boxes, that's okay. You're gonna get the same answer either way. So x big e, x little e, all the females are gonna be what? Tortoise shell. And then all the males are going to be X big E Y, which is black. So all your males will be black. All right. How many people got that right? All right. Awesome. And then this one, don't let this trick you. This is not possible because you can only be tortoise shell if you're female. So I did see a couple people doing this cross. The problem is you wouldn't have any babies from this cross. It's just kinkiness. So that's not possible. All right, so everybody should be up to speed now on how to do sex-linked crosses.